Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to play Tom Kench top lane and carry and we're gonna be abusing a 63% win rate build. Super simple build, just Frostfire into Thornmel. Then for your third item, you have the option of Spirit Visage or Randu, it's just depending on if you need armor or magic resist. Their team is definitely on the AD heavy side, so most likely we'll be going Randuin's uh, third item instead of Spirit Visage, but we can round off the build with Spirit Visage since Bard and Azir and a tiny bit of Kaisa damage. Since uh, AP, AP, and then like I said, Kaisa got a little bit. We have Grass, Shield Bash, Second Wind with Unflinching, Triumph with Alacrity. For your three side runes, you want to go Attack Speed and then Double Resistances. So I went Double Armor since we're up against Yasuo. We're going to start with our Q. It's pretty challenging to hit enemy champions with your Q when uh, there's minions in the way. So right now we're just getting our Grasp up. Then we're going to look to use it on him. We missed one minion for that, so not the most ideal situation, but I think he missed one as well since he turned to hit me there. So we got our grasp off again. He started with his dash. I think that's a bit of a mistake. I don't, I don't think that's going to pan out too well for him. I hit him with a Q first that time since there's no minions in front of him. We're going to go ahead and hit our potion. Grasp is up. Yeah, his minions are aggroing me. I got to pull off a little bit. Every single time your grasp is up, you want to try to auto them unless you're going to obviously take more damage from that trade. We're going to have to ignite him here. I actually swung for my E because that's more useful in a fight to the death than my W because he can just flash my W. But normally you would get your uh, W level 2. I have no clue how he's still like full health. It's kind of weird because we... We even ignited him and whatnot. He's just healing. I don't I don't know what is healing him, but uh, he is He's definitely healing off of something. <laughs> it's really interesting to see that much healing going through. I'm gonna have to TP back. You know, I guess I'll just get that. That's fine. I just picked up a refill. I was thinking about getting a cloth armor, but I don't think that's going to be quite worth it. A grass Yasuo seems interesting. You can even apply his grass with his Qs. Then we'll go for the knock up after we land our Q. He's going to try to slide through me, but I think he dies here unless he... Uh, yeah, he's dead. Well played, Yasuo. Yeah, I'm super confused how he's healing so much. It was so weird. I kept mashing him with my attacks. He must have, like, Taste of Blood. So with the combination of his Taste of Blood and Grass feeling. I think his jungler is here. This guy's taking a, taking a weird way to survive. We just gotta stay on top of this guy, stun him. He's got three of our passives on him. Nice Q by Master Yi, and I'm gonna go around this wall. I should be able to get my Q on him, just like so. Awesome. So most of your melee matchups on Yi are gonna be pretty, I mean, for a Kench, are gonna be pretty favorable for you. Anything that's melee, you're generally gonna have a pretty easy time against. Your toughest matchup are mobile range champions like Vayne or Lilia. Those are a massive pain in the butt. You normally want to ban Vayne and uh, avoid Lilia tops. Poppy is one of the few kind of melee top laners who just trash you because Poppy's Q does max health damage. And since Poppy has range on her passive and they recently buffed her passive, it's really easy for her to kind of poke you down and run you around. First item rush, if you're playing against a heavy self heal champ, you want to get Bramble, pick up your boots, and then go straight for your Frostfire Gauntlets. Frostfire is going to be our core. We got our cloth right here. Your Q is a great auto attack resetter. You can, uh, you need to consider though, if the fight's not going to be long enough for you to get off a stun, it's fine to Q auto or auto Q. But if it's a fight to the death, a lot of the time you want to hit him three times with your autos and then hit him with a Q, then W. It just depends. If your R's up, it can be fine to auto. If you even plan on fighting them to death with your R's up, you can auto Q. Auto R, hold them, spit them out when your Q's up and Im immediately Q them. That can be pretty good as well. 
Yeah, I think that's kind of silly that his Q applies uh, Grasp. So much range, because it's still counting as a melee Grasp proc. I don't think it's going to scale very well on him, at the very least. Wow, that actually landed. Got the knockup. This is where I swallow him and you hold him for as long as you can until your Q's coming back up. Yep, and he burns out. Awesome. He's just just a little bit low enough. My Q was almost up for me to spit him out and then immediately hit him with Q so he couldn't really dodge it. You never actually really want to activate your E unless you have to. If you're getting dove or if it's a fight to the death, once you have a lot of it built up, you can activate it for fat self Janna shield. That's an okay option, but ideally you want to avoid not using it if you don't have to because it heals you passively. For like 40% of the damage you take, you'll heal that back as long as you don't reactivate it. Gotta pull this wave back and thin it out. This is way too many minions. My grasp is up. We could look for a trade here. He's looking to just poke me. So annoying. Got a grasp up. Took a nice little trade with him. It's very difficult to hit them with Qs when they're in their minions like that. It's really not possible. We missed cannon minion. It's a little unfortunate. Still a little bit up in CS though. look to all in him here or at least get something on him he just won't fight me he just keeps running away and poking me with max range cues there we go finally traded grasps you want to max your w second after your q there we go trade grasp for grasp Jeez, it's so annoying man <laughs> He's just sitting back with tier 2 boots, constantly pestering me. We hit him with an auto attack Q there. Uh, I don't think he has his win wall yet. I don't think he bothered to get it versus me. He's being super cocky. Oh, there it is. I tried to auto him the third time. It didn't give it to me, though. I think Jarvan must be here the way this guy's acting. I'm about to all in him. We'll see. Got the Q. Trying to zone him off these minions that are dying. I don't want him to get these. So I'm going to stand near them as close as I can. I can even use my S key. It's so hard to hit. Got you, buddy. Got my ignite on him. He's dead. I needed to auto one more time to get the stun off on this guy. Got him. Ooh, I think I think we are living too. Triumph is too strong. Master Yi Arden to try to help us. That's pretty funny. That was that was pretty dang solid. We'll take that. We take those, baby. Grass Yasuo top is actually really cancer. I, I am not enjoying this matchup at all. It's just so hard to get to. We're going to need to get uh, plated still caps here in a second. And then we might be able to kill him. Because we'll be really, really fast just like he is. So whenever he throws out a Q, I'll guarantee getting an auto attack. And I can get my Q pressure on him after that. So we'll buy this. And we'll buy that. And then we'll buy this all right looks good you know what? i'll tp he can't do this because i have the the brambles giving me a huge edge on him he's trying to heal with i think ravenous and taste of blood i don't really even have to push this i can freeze this 
W in behind him. Force him to at least run the other way. Yeah, wind walls, big surprise. Having armor is also really good against minions. They're not doing that much damage against me. Oh, this is where he runs away. I got off the slow. Master, you should be able to finish. I hope. Nice. Glorious. You don't have to go ignite TP, it's just nice. If you're playing against a heavy self healer like Irelia or Yasuo. Or Aatrox, anything like that. Having ignite will actually allow you to kill them when they overstep. If you are going to take ignite TP, just make sure your W's up if you're hard shoving. That way you can escape if you get ganked. If you are shoved up without W, <laughs> you're really easy to kill. Got a grasp. I don't know if I actually want to mess with these guys. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I'll do it. Spit him out straight into Q. Got the kill. W to knock him up. He ends up juking. There we go. Nice. Feels good. I'm afraid the game is pretty much over for this Yasuo. He's, he's not going to be able to come back until he's two or three items. Because I'll have uh, at least one full item advantage on him. And as the tanky champion for the first 25, 30 minutes of the game, that's really hard to... To, to dethrone auto attack Q. I just blocked his dash. I don't think he's gonna die from that. Wait, this guy, there's no way he can fight me there. We're gonna W recall. They can cancel your W if they hard CC. That's why you gotta be careful. Depending on what abilities they have, sometimes you don't wanna just W because they'll just cancel it. Got our frost fire. And uh, now we'll finish off our thorn mill. Yasuo is still staying top, so we can keep going top as well. If he was grouping, then we would group. As he shoves up, he puts himself in more harm's way. I'll look to roam mid. I'm assuming he's not going to keep pushing. He can't fight me. Yeah, so he's roaming off to the side. Oh, never mind. He's staying. All right. Because yours shouldn't have R. That's. Oh, she just barely got that. Good thing I got his R on a cooldown earlier. He's probably about to walk into me here. Yep. Got the stun. And he's dead. I didn't, I didn't need to R him. I'll shove this wave and then... Uh, after we get it pushing, we'll leave. There's no reason to stay with it. When their outer mid turret's still up, you want to get that. Yeah, your worst matchups are going to be Poppy and Warwick. Regat's a really hard one, and then things like Vayne and Lilia can be super challenging. The uh, Warwick's tough. He just heals to the point where you can't kill him at all. And Poppy does max health damage on her Q, and Regat does some max health damage and is ranged, so... I'll be taking this. He's on his wolves. Yeah. Buster Brown. Lame. I'm going to reset that wolf on him. You can't have it. Ah, not quite. Not quite. I'll go... Can we dive mid? Probably not. Man, this guy's getting so many grass. It's so easy for Yasuo to get grass. It's, it's almost not even impressive. All he has to do is hit you with a Q. You can swallow them if you QR them when they have three stacks of your passive like I did there. Your R has more range than it shows if you Q then R. 
Ooh, this is bad. I still have my gray skin, so she's hesitant because I could activate this for a fat shield. Beautiful. I can TP back in, get my Thornmel, start building my Athemas. Then we'll go into our Randuins. Actually, we'll just go for Randuins. They got double crit champs. I TP'd to the wrong minion. Why don't we finish the turret, guys? Finish it. Zero doesn't do any real damage to me. We are taking this inhib a, a little on the early side. You know we don't want to take inhib before 20 minutes? Ooh. Because then you can set them up to just catch waves and you can't even get bare until 20 minute mark. It might be GG's though. It doesn't look like Yasuo is going to group. He's trying to hit his uh, 0 10 power spike or fighting turret. Got the knock up. He's trying to push me into the fountain like a chump. I have two marks on her. I just need one more. And then I can uh, R her. Yeah, just, they're just dragging him in the fountain. Oh, she actually R'd away. What a goofball. Yeah, I don't get it. Oh, well. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this little Tom Kench top lane commentary guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King6. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. The damage dealt the champions. We were actually the highest. That's kind of shocking. Was not expecting that. Damage taken. A lot of times it's the jungler, because I think that counts even, like, damage taken from monsters. But we had the highest damage taken. And looking at runes real quick, Grass did a whopping 1,400. So like when games don't last this long, you kind of just go by the ratios rather than the raw number. So it did like 40% more damage than it held than it healed me. So quite a bit of damage. Because I was playing against a melee champion, got to use it a lot. Uh Shield Bash did all pretty much nothing. Because we didn't have any close scraps where I needed to use my E very often. So we didn't get much value out of that. Second win gave me an extra thousand one hundred sixty-five health. Pretty good. Unflinching seconds of combat with Matt. With max tenacity granted. That's that's decent. We'll take it. 30 seconds. It's not that good against Yasuo since he's all knock up and suppressions and tenacity doesn't help you against that anyway. So I guess realistically shield bash unflinching were pretty negligible this game. Triumph healed us for 800 and total bonus gold. I didn't realize it gave bonus gold. Bonus 300 gold. That's pretty nice. It's an extra kill. Plus 800 health, which saved me from the turret when I was killing Jarvan and uh, Yasuo by myself. And then Alacrity, we completely completed it by 11 minute mark. All in all, not bad.